I lived in the neighborhood as a renter for a number of years, uh, uh, but I bought my home in 1970, uh, same house I live in today. And uh, back then, the guy representing the seller was a friend of my father's, and he tried to talk me out of buying the house. He's, you know, I paid under $14,000 for the house. And, and he said, Vince, there are three kind of neighborhoods in St. Louis. There are black neighborhoods, there are white neighborhoods, and there are neighborhoods in transition. And black people are moving into this neighborhood. It's going to be all black, and you're going to lose your money. Don't buy here. And I went ahead and bought anyway. And the Skinker to Bolivar neighborhood uh, became the first truly integrated neighborhood in the city of St. Louis. If the university and the medical center had moved out at that point in time, I just don't know what would have happened to the entire neighborhood and to the entire city, to be honest with you. It was a, it was a difficult neighborhood. Uh, I mean, the first six months or so that I lived there, I was burglarized three times. I mean, it was, it was chancy, but it was worthwhile. And I think we look back on this now and recognize the fact that the the university and the medical center and the hospitals, they made some tough decisions, um, but it was really, uh, it was, you know, it was uh, existential for the city.